Hello and welcome to episode 10 of the She-Wolf series. There are more episodes on my channel and other series as well, and if you're after adult content or you just want to help support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon down below. Please leave a comment, I love hearing from you, and as always, I hope you enjoy. Morning. It's like 11, what are you still doing in bed? I am in a good mood, does that need to be so concerning? Well, fair enough. Yes, I am all sweaty, and I'm going to make you all sweaty with my sweat. Mmm. Oh, I'll have a shower in a bit, but first I need some loving. <laughs> mm. Well, I decided to kill two birds with one stone, so I went out for a run, and used the opportunity to take a look at some of our borders and would you like to take a guess at what I sniffed out while I was there? Oh, you do catch on quick. Yeah, the Northland pack was sniffing around again, right on the edge of our lands too. Oh no, they weren't subtle about it. Not only could you smell it a mile off, any half-decent human tracker would have been able to spot their path through the trees. They basically tap-danced up to our borders with a big sign saying, We were here. Hmm? Yeah, the Northland pack. Yeah, of course we have a name too. Do you seriously not know our pack name? I suppose it's just one of those things you think is so obvious you don't say it. We're really bad at giving you information. Yeah, but maybe, just maybe, you should be a little braver and ask more questions. You know any of the boys would be happy to tell you. Speaking of, what was the question again? Oh, yeah, we're the Greenwoods pack. It's not a terribly original name and I kind of hate it, not going to lie, but it's been the pack name for as long as this pack has existed, so no point in changing it now. Oh, yes, but the reason I'm so gleeful about this news, do you remember when we were in the car and I told you my plan for dealing with them? Huh. Oh. No, I'm not insulted, you don't remember. God, we've been kind of busy since, but I had the idea that I would send a letter and perhaps even get you to write it out in that pretty handwriting of yours, asking to meet up and share a drink. Either it works and I can see this leader face to face instead of skulking around each other, or there's no meeting, but it unnerves them and at the very least makes it abundantly clear that I know what they're up to. And they're not the only ones who can play games. Yeah? You'll join me in my shenanigans? Oh, you love my shenanigans. Don't even try to deny it. Hey, I never went to school, remember? Penmanship was never really a thing I bothered with. Oh, well, yes, now. I'll type it up on my phone and you could, pretty please, write it out in letter form later on. Oh, thank you so much, my darling love, light of my life. <laughs> okay, um, dear Sean, um, I think it's S-E-A-N. Hmm. Dear Sean, apologies if I have spelt your name incorrectly, but I'm sure you can forgive me as up until now I've had no reason to write it out. Oh, I know I'm a brat. You know I'm a brat. Everyone knows this. It's time little Sean knew too. <clears throat> I noticed your pack scent all over our borders, not for the first time. I do appreciate, however, you taking a break from your repeated scouting missions 
during my grandfather's funeral proceedings. It was very courteous of you. Is that too forward? Too sassy? Hmm. Well, I mean, let's not be backwards about being forwards, I suppose. Go hard or go home. <laughs> um, but now it appears that you're back at our boundaries. I write this letter as an invitation to come and have a drink with me. I would like to get to know my neighbours better. Please RSVP to the provided postal address. Yours truly, blah blah blah. Oh yes. Yes, I am very smug with myself. <clears throat> I don't ever want to seem like I'm disrespecting my grandfather or spitting on his grave or whatever, but I have a very different way of saying things and a very different way of dealing with confrontation. And for better or worse, this is my pack now. Whatever is going on with this other pack sniffing around, it's been simmering away for so long that that sooner or later it's going to boil over. I'd rather poke the bear and find out what's happening, not just wait passively in the interests of peace. This isn't peace, it's waiting and hoping that the problem goes away on its own. Uh, yes, I should have said poke the wolf. Very funny, ha ha. You're hilarious. I am still sweaty, is that incredibly annoying for you? Well, I could just make you sweaty and then we could match. Hmm? Shower together after. Get you all sweaty again. Hmm? What? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know what I've done that's funny, I'm being perfectly serious. About everything. Especially the part about getting you absolutely filthy. Yes. That is right. 